breathe purple and gold? Are you ready to hoist the colors? Now, time for the most in-depth look at the world of ECU athletics. Welcome in to Hoist the Colors with your host, Stephen Igo on 94.3 The Game. Watch the show live on Facebook and at 94.3thegame.com. Now, here's your host, Stephen Igo. Welcome in, Hoist the Colors on this Wednesday, April 3rd edition of the program. Very exciting hour ahead. It's going to be our Team Boneyard special as Matt Slate is in studio. We're going to talk a lot about the special NIL-driven auction items that they have going on. A ton of great opportunities for Pirate fans and also some big events coming up. We'll get into that. Shout out to the ECU baseball team. They win at NC State last night 12-4. First win in Raleigh for the Pirates since 2009. First time Cliff Goblin and his crew, his staff, have won in Raleigh. Of course, many wins over State and Greenville, but this was a big one. Last night, going to FAU this weekend, so we may talk about that later in the program as well. We're live on YouTube, Facebook. If you got a question, drop it there. We'll get to it throughout the next hour. we got a lot to talk about. And Matt Slate is in studio to do it. He's he's a veteran of the show now at this point. How's it going, Matt? It's doing, I'm doing well. It's a uh... Thanks for having me back. Uh, I obviously, I guess I didn't embarrass myself the first time, so got me back on the air. Uh, Absolutely, man. Well, last time we, we only had 30 minutes for you, <laughs> and I allotted 30 minutes originally for this, and I'm like, you know, maybe I'll just move it to the whole hour because, yeah, you know, you like to talk, and I like guests that like to talk. <laughs> I think we, we got a lot going on. Yeah, um, there's plenty to talk about. I, there's plenty to talk about. There's, you know, not just from the auction standpoint, but just what's going on with NIL-wise. Um, you got transition across the board in, in basketball. You've got all kinds of different things, so we uh, we we can we can dive into all of it. Um, yeah, you know, and, and, and I think we've got uh, we've got some other stuff to to, to announce too. Uh, so yeah, so big so so big news with the uh, the team Boneyard Spring twenty twenty four auction. So we'll start there. I do want to talk about you know the basketball portal because the transfer portal is going crazy right now, and and obviously an NIL presence is important on that front. But uh, before we maybe get into some of the specific items, kind of run us through. You know, this whole auction idea, where did it start, where did it come from, and kind of the execution of it? So, it, it, it's, it really became, it was a conversation that started, um, I joined the board about six months ago, and it's kind of, I think, been a conversation uh, that's been had um, over, um, since, I, since I got there. But, you know, when you, we've, I, I'm, I'm on Hoist of Colors, I read the feedback, I think there's, you know, there's a lot of feedback of trying to figure out, look, we, we, we know we want to bring the fan, ECU fans, Team Boneyard fans, closer to the student athlete. And that is really when you start to kind of get into what is name, image, and likeness. Well, um, it's, it's, it's getting people closer to the, to the student athlete and figuring out a way to engage with them, figuring out a way to provide exclusive kind of ideas, experiences, things like that. So that's where the idea started and it fostered. And we st- just started kicking around, man, wouldn't it be cool if like you could uh, announce uh, the batters of a game, right? You know, I was like, oh, well, maybe we could do that. Right. And so we just kind of we really did throw out a list. Uh, I mean, literally a list. It's a, uh, lengthy one. it's a lengthy one of things of let's let's see what uh, let's let's see what we can come up with that are executable ideas. Right. And so uh, and things that I think our fans haven't seen. Um, we also did, you know, some kind of some benchmarking, went across and looked at what other schools were doing. Um, and some are doing nothing and some are doing a lot of this. Right. And so it was just it was just really doing figuring that part out figuring out how to work and partner. And I'll have to say, um, you know, shout out and thank you to uh, to John Gilbert, Ryan, um, everybody in the athletic department. Um, Clay Walker at Play Flies helped us a ton. So I have to, you know, very much say thank you. That would, None of this would have happened if it wasn't for their partnership and their willingness to uh, to, to allow us to, to find these opportunities. And you guys, I mean, obviously you mentioned you came on board about six months ago and, and David Faree and obviously Lance yep. Clark, yep. Uh, David Price, Hank Hinton, you know, yep. done a phenomenal job, but just kind of following it. And I've talked to you all throughout this process, but you know, now I'm getting emails, you know, <laughs> really professional looking emails that like make me more interested as a, you know, as somebody who wants to know more about this stuff. And so y'all have done a good job, I think, evolving over time and I know that's still a continual process. But how, And we talked about it last time you were on the show, which wasn't that long ago, but giving the fans something more tangible, right. you know, for their money. And this, this kind of goes down that path. It does. Right. I think, I, you know, I think the, um, the crush, uh, partnership, uh, with the vodka was a, uh, kind of a proof in concept. <laughs> if you, if you kind of get into product development, but you go, wait, I mean, there, there is definitely a, a, 
a proof there that the fans want some tangibility around uh, different things and they'll support it, right? And so, uh, I mean, I mean that, that's gone so well. I was sitting at the bar in, uh, at Luna's and I ordered a drink and I said, hey, can I get the Crush Vodka? And she was like, that's great. That goes to our football team. That's awesome. And I'm like, whoa. That, all right, so that message has resonated with the bartender at, at Luna's. And I'm like, okay, that, that means it's actually starting to kind of take in. And look, this is something that's going to have to, it's, it's, it's slow and it's organic within the Greenville, but it's within Pirate Nation of, okay, what is Team Boneyard, right? Because it can be confusing. Um, you know, when people stand back and say, wait, what, how is that affiliated with ECU? Is it within the athletic department? Why is it not, right? That, that, I think people are starting to finally understand what NIL is. As it, as it's allowed to be today, and guess what? That's probably going to change again. Yeah. Um, but we're we're kind of we're being more proactive on making sure that we can reach our fans and do that. And so when we get into some of the auction stuff, I'll give you some interesting stats too of uh, of how that is also going well on doing just that uh, of reaching uh, kind of a new set of uh, of people that are aware of NIL. Matt Slate with us, uh, board member with Team Boneyard. All right, William Landis says, great job by Matt and all the people at Team Boneyard for putting the auction together. He says, it's a great idea. We've got a question about NIL on the basketball front we'll get to later. Yep. I told you we'd get that one. <laughs> um, all right, so all right, so if people want to bid on these items, we'll get yeah. it to a minute, kind of um, which e- what each item entails. But if they want to bid on it or kind of see like the full list, where do they go for that? All right, so if you, if you go to teamboneyard.org, and you open up just our regular site. It's dead in the middle, uh, uh, and you can you click there, and it'll take you to the actual site. There's right at the top is. of the page. It's right at the top you of the page. Miss it. It's it's in it's in big uh, it's in big and big and gold. Uh, but the site we're using is actually um, it's, it's a vendor called Give Butter, uh, and th- this is what they do. They do all kinds of um, they, they're basically kind of like an event bright, kind of like a hand bid. But it's, it's all in one. You can run events, you can run um, auctions, you can actually do buy it now type of things, which we've done with Parker Bird, uh, the per- Parker Bird hats. Um, so, but it'll take you right to it. And then within that, we tried to segment it out of. Uh, I, I tried to break it down by fan experience, um, things that are buy it now by fan experience. Uh, for football, it was it was kind of confusing, so I actually made pregame experiences. And then specific other stuff, uh, and then we have we have experiences for football, basketball, men, men's and women's, and baseball, and anything baseball wise. Uh, we, we've partnered right with with the Twenty Three Club, and everything goes right to them. So, uh, and they've been great. Uh, I mean, it, it it really is a kind of a hand in hand partnership there. So, a ton of awesome items here. I guess should we start? Uh, yeah, chronologically or just I don't know. We, we can let's just go down the page. Okay. So, uh, th- th- this one was really a, a great launch yesterday. So, um, ECU Pirate Nation uh, on Twitter, and, and with the ATE being the number eight, uh, right. Josh, uh, he, he came to us and said he had an, uh, a 50 hats that he had made um, for Parker Bird. I think he had, he had sold some through his own, uh, but he was like, you know what, could we just put these on the site and let the fans get them? Particularly because he's like, I have a ton of people that want me to want shipping. So right. we, we can do that. So we put them on. We have 50 hats. When I walked in, there were 10 left. And I think two for local pickup and like seven for shipping. So th- those will be gone. And when those are gone, um, I don't know if we'll be able to get our hands on more before this, this auction ends, which is uh, on April 13th. Uh, also right there, uh, buy it now. And I, you know, I, I, I hope people take an opportunity to do this, but uh, we have, we've, right now we have Coach McNeil um, from women's basketball. Uh, it's an opportunity to really kind of sit down and hear her talk about her philosophy, break down some film, and do that with her uh, on, on, in, a, in a small setting. Um, if you've ever heard her speak, she'll make you want to run through a table. I, I understand why those young women are uh, as motivated as they are. And so that – that's a that's a really unique opportunity, and it supports it supports women's uh, basketball and NIL there. That's also very very important. And so, is there a specific date? Let's see. It's, it's the, the week, week of June tenth or fourteenth. Week of June tenth, fourteenth. Um, the challenging part is getting pending coach getting coaches to commit right. to an exact date because recruiting and everything else that goes into uh, their life is uh, it's pretty crazy. So when you get down to okay, I'm fine. Oh wait, I need to actually I have to go visit something or I have to deal with something. So uh, she she was op- open within that week. We will get it honed in on, on a specific time, but it's that type of experience. And I'm working on trying to get a few more with uh, some of our other coaches. It's just getting the timing uh, down. 
Um, and that, that's that's the hardest part uh, of, of this process. So it says there, you know, 20 seats available uh, and also, you know, $200 there. And all this money essentially goes to the program. It does. You know, for yeah. the for, to support NIL. So 100%. It, it yes, gives so. directly back to the right. program. Right. And we have women's basketball players that are supported uh, through Team Boneyard. Uh, and this is this is a way to con- you know we want to make sure that we continue to do that. I mean that program has uh, I mean we were one game away right again, yeah. of 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 being in the show, uh, and being in the tournament. And that, you, without you, if you follow that program, I mean the number of injuries that they've taken, those young ladies worked their tails off to get there, um, and so uh, that, it's just an opportunity to support them. Parker Bird had it, which is awesome, by the way. I love the design. Uh, Twenty five dollars, and again, That's not a, many left, so get on it. No, if I, you I, want I, it, they may not be there. Uh, I, I will say, I was on uh, 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 Henry show earlier this morning, yeah. and that um, I think we sold ten. <laughs> wow! Uh, right after between uh, eight twenty five and eight forty five, so I wouldn't be shocked if those are gone. Uh, and we'll try to get more, but uh, and not. And that's that's a that's a specific nil. Uh, opportunity that will support uh, Parker. So, all right. So let's go to more of these uh, fan experiences. Uh, we'll keep going down the list here. Um, it was I guess we'll start with the spring game because that's right around the corner. Yeah. So, kick a field goal at the 2024 football spring yeah. game, and it looks like what three opportunities here. Yeah. So basically, between uh, the first, the second, or the third quarter per se. Right. right? I mean, you know, they they, they kind of keep time or they kind of don't. But the concept here is: look, you're going to you're going to go down on the field. You're going to go in the huddle. Um, you are the kicker. You're going to be announced as the kicker, right? So Stephen Igo uh, is going to attempt a, a field goal. I, so I feel like I mean I feel like that's happening. I can embarrass I, myself. I yeah. feel like that's happening, right? <laughs> Hamstring and yeah. all. You have to get Gosh. good limber. But uh, <laughs> I have to do some serious stretching beforehand. <laughs> but this is opportunity. I, we thought it was unique in that you get to go down. There, there will be a live snap. The defense will be lined up on the other side. They're not going to try to block the kick. Uh, they, they they may thud and they may they may give you a hard time, but uh, it's the opportunity to go down and take a live snap, live hold, and see if you can split the uprights. I think that's pretty awesome, man. I mean, just the experience, no matter how good or bad you kick it, just to be like in the huddle and when 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 is that ever going to happen? I mean, that that would be incredible. So. Yeah. Uh, again, you can go bid on that. And again, spring game coming up April 13th, which is when this whole auction closes. It does. So, yeah, uh, that day yeah. after the Charlotte, after we play Charlotte, we want to leave it open through that. And all that money gives, uh, you know, directly back to football. And exactly. of course, yep. um, other football experiences, what do you guys have on tap, you know, for, for power football fans? Yeah. So actually I'm going to, we didn't do a drop this morning, right? Okay. We, we've been sending out emails. You've, you, you mentioned those. Uh, so we got a drop, uh, for, for hoist the colors, special drop it does, live, right? only air. live, but, uh, um, it's a behind the scenes tour of getting to check out, uh, the meeting rooms, the workout facility, seeing, you know, the locker room, there's a, uh, there's a lounge area. Um, that, that the players, uh, I know they hang out in. Um, and, and that's not something that is open to everybody every day, right? You just can't really walk in and check that out. Uh, but this will be the opportunity. Uh, so there's four of those, um, and each one's for two people. Right. So, so it's a, it would be – so if you, if you win one of those, you you and a uh, another fan can come. So, But it's, it's to get behind the scenes. It's to see where the players are. You know, you, you never know who may or may not be in the uh, the locker room when that's going on. I mean, these, these guys are pretty much in there 24-7, uh, even during the summer. There's a lot of workouts. There's a lot of different places. Um, but you get to see um, – there's the, there's the, also the training room. Um, I, I, don't, I haven't even seen it, but there's uh, apparently there's a pool that has bikes yeah. in it <laughs> and things like that. Uh, but it's, it's really just to get you behind the scenes and, and – something that's unique uh, to, to you know get get your cameras out and take take some pictures so behind the scenes tour of the football facilities dropping live on the air so for for fans who if they let's say they bid on this and win can they pick any date to do that or will that kind of be scheduled out over we, time? We, we'll, we'll have, we will coordinate obviously with okay. the winner and with uh with football um that you know, because there's times where they can't be in they can't it, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen uh, two hours before kickoff of the App State game, right? right, we're, right. We're, we're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to get you in there uh, at that point. But do I? It, will we be able to get you in uh, at, at some other points? Sure. We'll, we'll just have to kind of schedule those out as we did. That's why there's there's only four because um, I know it'll, it's going to take a little bit of scheduling. And if you know if you're in if you're in town, it's easier than if someone's lives in Charlotte and they win. So. 
And I, I'll just say, you know, having been over to the facilities covering the team, I mean, if, if you've even if you've been to the building before, if you haven't gone in the last handful of years, the improvements Mike Houston and his staff and the administration have made, it's <coughs> it's night and day. So it really oh. is a cool experience. It's worth the, the money, I think. So I definitely would suggest, it, you know, great behind the scenes opportunity. Yeah, it's really experience. Exactly. And we've, you know, I, it's, it's, it's to get, again, I think the core of this, a lot of this is to try to find ways to get our fans. Uh, as close as possible to uh, to the program and, and to the student athletes, and to see what a life in the day could be like. All right, so dinner for four with Mike Houston yeah. is, uh, is is one thing that stands out to me. That seems like um, a great opportunity to, to question the head coach hey. or, or sit down with him. And, and right. you know, uh, and and I was just say this, Coach Houston, great guy, easy to talk to. So yeah. I'm sure that would be an awesome experience. Yeah, we've got and we've actually we've got those. Uh, we got it from Mike. Uh, both mics, uh, okay. Co- Coach Coach Schwartz, Coach Houston, and uh, Coach McNeil. So they're they're, they're all three uh, out there. But uh, yeah, it's just an opportunity to get to know the coach, right? It's it's a it's it's an intimate setting where you you're able to have a, a conversation about the program, have a conversation about. I mean, he's going to have a th- he's going to have thoughts on a program. He's going to have thoughts on conference realignment. He's going to have thoughts. He'll on- share things I'm sure off yeah. the record that he doesn't normally talk about. Right. I mean, you you get that opportunity though to do that. And again, that's that's something that we have to line up schedules because right uh, with, with with coach. But um, it, you know, he wants he 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 was excited when we laid this stuff in front of him. He's like, oh, that's like I don't, yeah. I don't get to do that. Um, so it's a, I think it's also a little bit outside the box for uh, our coaches and our, and our student athletes where they go, oh, this is an opportunity where I actually get to engage with the fans as well um, and help his program, right? I mean, because the rules are, you know, he, he can't, right? Like he, he's, you know, the, the craziest thing is the person that, in a lot of businesses, the, the CEO is the person who can reinvest right. the most. He can't. He's not allowed to. Right, but rules. he, you know, but we, we can do something like this where he can you know, indirectly help. Yeah, I think it's awesome. And again, go on uh, online to bid on this, and also chance to to do dinner with uh, the team Boneyard yeah. student athletes as well. Mm-hmm. I know, and I'm seeing this in football. Do you have this opportunity potentially in other sports as we, well? We have it in uh, in, in everything. So uh, there you, you go. You, you 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 pick your your favorite. You can do it with baseball. You can do it with men's and women's basketball. You can do it with football. Also, round of golf. Yeah. At Brook Valley Country Club first, yeah. uh, with Mike Houston. We have that one as well. I yeah. think there's uh, five or six bids on that one already. There you go. Yeah, uh, five yeah. bids. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, this <laughs> is, awesome. you know, if you, uh, if dinner doesn't do it for you and you want to, you want to chase the, uh, the white ball around, or if, if you're like me, uh, I, I'm good at finding every piece of sand and tree and water that's available to be hit. Uh, you can do that with, with Coach Houston. <laughs> And uh, I think Coach Houston's golf game is pretty good, so uh, yeah. you, 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 you may, may not want to play with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you may you may have trouble trying to, to beat Coach Houston, but hey, at least you can talk to him for eighteen holes. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get a break and we'll come back. I'm seeing also a cool experience, you know, to, to watch a game from a suite in Town yep. Bank Tower. That's got some bids, so we'll get into that. Yep. Um, also, a question about basketball and uh, that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about that and much more. This is Hoist the Colors on a Wednesday. It's time to get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. More savings, more selection, more for your trade. Get new Camrys, $269 a month, or new RAV4s, $299 a month. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Acre Station Meat Farm, along with Lane Angus Beef, bring you Farm to Fork Beef. Stock your freezers now with affordable beef boxes, just in time for the grill and season. Farm to Fork Beef brings quality local beef to your family. From your traditional butcher shop, Acre Station Meat Farm. Come on down to Acre Station Meat Farm and find out why we're number one in fresh cuts and friendly service. Acre Station Meat Farm, Highway 32 North, Pinetown. Other restaurants claim their food is fresh and fast, but are they friendly? At Moore's, you're treated like family the minute you walk into their doors. With locations in Winterville, New Bern, Swansboro, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, we've been practicing what we preach since 1945. At Moore's, our barbecue is slow-cooked and smoked over real wood daily until it's so tender it's falling off the bone. Combined with our fresh chicken, cooked-to-order seafood, and homemade fixins, we're sure you'll agree. If it's not Moore's, it's less. You know what the problem is with standard belts? Usually you have to choose between too tight or the opposite, too loose. But with Anson Belt and Buckle, you don't have to choose. 
We got rid of the holes and instead have a track system designed for micro adjustability. That way you can enjoy a perfect fit every time. Anson Belt and Buckle. Find your perfect fit today. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. She fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Get more savings on our huge Toyota selection. Shop new Corollas, just $239 a month. Or new Tundras with 3.99% financing. Get more for your trade. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. This is ECU head football coach Mike Houston, and you're listening to Hoist the Colors on 94.3 The Game. We're back here on uh, Hank Hinton making a live appearance on camera. <laughs> he just handed us uh, the 23 Club koozies. Yeah. So this will be distributed by, by the baseball team. Uh, yes. Uh, the baseball staff is going to figure out how to get those out at the NC State game. So... These will be given out sometime at the NC State game, April 23rd. And it has the, you know, the QR code. We talked about this yeah. on the back. And take, uh, we'll take you to 23club.org. I will. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're on the way, guys. We are on the way. And uh, you, if you don't have tickets, you can uh, bid on NC State right. tickets right on our, our, our site. You can sit. Uh, it's right behind home plate. It's it's little catty corner. It's, uh, it's, it's very close to home plate, three rows back. Um, but yeah, you can sit right there, and you can uh, you, you can take the game in and find a uh, way to utilize your koozie. How has the partnership with uh, the Twenty Three Club gone thus far for you guys? I, I, awesome, I, you know, Mike and uh, his team have just they're just they're they're open uh, to whatever we're trying to do. Uh, they come up with ideas, we come up with ideas, but we 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 we've been on calls, we text, uh, email, we talk a lot. Um, you know, uh, Mike's got a young family. His uh, his kids are doing a lot of travel sports, uh, so he's always like, "Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I'm like, it's okay. I was there at one point in my right. life too." <laughs> I was like, "I'm patient. Just let me know." Uh, but no, he's been awesome. In fact, uh, you can you can bid on an opportunity to stay at one of his uh, his uh, properties. I saw here. that. Yeah. yeah, the Tranquil Inn and Manio. Uh, they also have a restaurant there. Um, and I'm I'm gonna believe it's 1583. It's but it obviously relates to the uh, the history of Manio. But uh, you can bid on that. It's two nights uh, and and a dinner. Uh, so it's you know if you have a nice weekend in Manio, not a far not a far drive from uh, this area. But uh, I had I haven't been to that property. That's but that's a, it, yeah. it, it looks you know, it looks very 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 nice. Maybe we get Matt Slate to. Bit on it. I don't know how to do that. Um, Matt Slate with us from Team Boneyard uh, and doing some great things uh, here with uh, with Team Boneyard. All right, so we got a lot of questions rolling yeah, in. Let's, um, let's do some of those and we'll get back to this. Yeah, let's stuff. do that. Yeah. So ECU BLG wants to know where can I buy the Team Boneyard cup you have? Very cool. So is that a possibility? <laughs> that is a possibility. So we are working on um, launching a shop okay uh, we're, so one of our board members uh is david Ferry, who uh owns and operates anson belt um he's online I and mean, he's an online retailer right yeah. um great product but also understands what that takes and so we are working through the well i wouldn't call them kinks but just the uh the the how do you operate as an online retailer without 
owning a bunch of inventory and without one of us because right? all hank wants to do is print out labels and put tape on boxes to he doesn't mail. want to make it to make the trip to ups and fedex to send them <laughs> every off. day no so we're we're, we're we're working actually with a couple of different uh vendors i think 98 percent of uh what we want uh, can be done and so that's exactly what we're working on um but yes this cup uh, is is one of the thoughts um, I, I want to figure out whether we do that this way or if we do that Yeti uh, way, right. right, too. I saw, uh, you know, for the first time I was so happy that you could get a Yeti uh, from East Carolina. I, I don't, you know. I, the I, powder I, purple Yetis? Yeah. yeah. Everybody wanted us. So. Yeah, I know. But I was like, wow, that's a, that we're, uh, to your point, we've, we've arrived. Uh, right. We're, we're there. Making um, our way. But no, we're, we're working on that. I, was, I hope we have some sort of shop uh, up and running in the next two weeks that's the goal we've been that's this is a labor of love <laughs> yeah uh that we've been working on for a couple of months um the other thing that we are going to we're going to be at the spring game um we will be uh set up in the vendor area uh you will also get to see a uh we, we've got a we've got a cool canopy uh we've got some other stuff that will be uh, broken out for the first time but i think you will won't have a problem identifying team boneyard uh, when, when you see what we what we created, um, but we'll be there, and I believe we will also have the opportunity to, to pick up a couple of things of swag. Uh, is, is the goal to be able to do that at the spring game as well? There you go. So all the more reason to come to the spring game, along with the barbecue and the football, because yeah. uh, also baseball later that day. So yeah. I mean, it should be a, a great I mean, day. To I be mean, around. that is like I looked at that schedule. That's what it's a, awesome, man. It's, it's great. If you're a, if you're a pirate fan and you just want to come spend a day, uh, if you're in Greenville, obviously you're already here. But if you're not, that's what. Why would you want to come into town for that? You come. You can come that Friday night. Charlotte is a good baseball yeah. team. That's going to be a series that's going to matter in the AAC and, and from a seating perspective. Uh, you also can take in and get some good barbecue, see the vendors. You're going to see – I'm just as excited as everyone else. I want to see uh, what this new, new, team, offense, new right? offense looks like, what this team looks like. Um, you know, there, there's obviously a quarterback battle. There's a lot of battles, I think, going out on, on, on the field. Um, and they probably don't have the answers yet, right? But you're going to at least get a sampling of it. So, um, I mean, you, you see the season ticket sales – sorry season ticket sales yeah. are uh you know pacing extremely well so there's, there's some excitement about there definitely football. is and I haven't been out of practice i mean many of the transfers and, I, and a lot of the returning guys you know that honestly team boner played a big deal in retaining or bringing in are making a difference so i mean all this kind of goes hand in hand yeah. and uh it, it's it's crucial to support so i'm looking forward to seeing the setup i am uh, too i mean I, look i mean look i I, I can't thank our, our supporters enough for what they've given us, um, and um, we try to invest. You know, we we do think about the investment um, deeply and wisely because we know um, we all want to win. That's I mean, I, when I talk, when I think about our board, uh, we're it, we, all kinds of different backgrounds, but uh, the, the common bond on our board. Go if to you see ECU win, yes, but uh, you, if you know our, you know, like you, you know some of the guys on our board. Boy, I mean. We want to win. I mean, it, it was, it, <laughs> that's why you are doing it as a labor of love, right? I mean, obviously, exactly. awesome stuff, but uh, and it's cool to interact with the fans and student athletes. But at the end of the yeah. day, you know, all this goes back to bringing in talent so you, so you can compete for oh, championships. Yeah. Absolutely, that's that's our expectation. Is uh, we hope we're we're on the way. Uh, that's that's the way I would put it. Christian Bateman. All right, so he, he's got a couple of basketball questions. Sure. He's a big basketball guy. All right, so he wants to know coaching clinic with Coach Schwartz. Is that something that you guys could uh, potentially do? We're working on something similar to that. Um, I've, it's a we got to get dates right. That's the hardest part of this. Is um, like I said, coaches are. Um, I, 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 my former life on Wall Street, I thought my day was busy. Their days are just crazy. Right. Like they, uh, you, you talk to them and they're they're. If it isn't coaching, if it isn't it's recruiting, recruiting or, if it isn't practice. Mm -hmm. If it isn't, you know, you know, I think, you know, they get a week of vacation here and there. And then it's probably like me. I'm putting my cell phone in my in the trash can if I can. Um, but no, uh, we, we're working on something similar to that. Um, but it, it's on the list of things that we want to we want to get done. What I, you can do, there is a opportunity basketball wise to take a tour of the facilities. And when you're done. Play a game of horse with some of our. Uh, it'll, it'll be some new team boneyard basketball athletes, but to play a little game of horse. So, 
Um, I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, you know, see, get how creative you are and uh, can, can, see if can you can be beat one. Yeah, RJ Felton maybe and yeah. a game of horse. Right. Yeah. Oh, while he's staring at you with those. I mean, that's the most intense. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Student athlete, man. He's he would he would freak me out just about being on, <laughs> by being on the same court with him. Oh he's man, so intense. like I, I look at him, I'm like, oh, no. if you <laughs> ever you know, he doesn't want to lose, so he was oh, like no. dead serious. Oh no, I know he's 100 percent competitive. If you have to look in those eyes, I know that young man is a competitor uh, from 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 beginning to end. <laughs> and you can do dinner with, uh, again, Mike Schwartz and Kim McNeil. Yeah. So uh, that's a way to, to sit down with the coaches as well. All right, so I also get a lot of questions, Matt, about NIL. And Christian wants to know, what is our NIL looking like for basketball? So, I mean, this is a crucial time for it basketball. Is. You know, we just saw this morning Brandon Johnson commit to Miami. So he is uh, on his way to the ACC. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys around the country are leaving programs. NIL was – probably the main reason so how much have you guys improved the basketball nil we're, footprint we're over double we we're, we're continuing to work this is one of the things we hope uh bring some things in um you know we uh i would say that our board is also working with uh trying to, to get a couple of other uh larger donations the other thing that we really need is we need to drive membership right um uh we're working on some other business projects like crush vodka that'll that'll also uh, raise money i think the thing we w when this all started it just happened all at once right and so yeah. you had to really step back now and we're able to go okay how do we move zero like every year resetting but move that zero to three four five hundred thousand dollars becoming zero and so doing things like a crush right doing things if you if you if we have the chance to maybe do a beer or we have we have the chance of maybe doing something with a snack company um and there's a couple other things I think that we can do and, and, and getting more businesses also to buy in um, and then creating these opportunities where people, um, you know, maybe this is a one time engagement, but it also opens the idea of engaging with uh, with Team Boneyard. And then we we have to also try to build a membership model that is, um, you know, it, you know, if we had two thousand ten dollar donors a month. Right. And you do the math, it's two hundred and forty thousand dollars, right? And so, there's these different ways that you kind of have to just step back and say, okay, what is that piece? What is that piece? And line them all up. And when you do that, all of a sudden you can be able to move zero to that number I'm talking about. And then there also is always going to be, um, there always will be some donors that do do have the capabilities and want to write the larger check. That doesn't mean uh, that it's any different in importance. Uh, than the ten dollar member, right? It, it, it is all about the investment and everybody investing in and feeling like they, they're uh, they're part of the process. So that's the piece that we have to translate. And teamboneyard.org, you can go there. You know, sign yeah. up for you know yeah. as, uh, what is little as ten dollars. Little as ten dollars. We have a cool one. It's nineteen oh seven. Yeah. You know, and we got to work. We that's another part of it. we got to figure out if we can't include a little, depending on the level, right? I think ten dollars might be the uh, the no frills uh, you right. know, zone, but then we, we, you know, as we walk it up, maybe we can do some other things uh, to, to try to do that. I think with the uh, the invention or the rolling out of the shop, that gives us some flexibility, yeah. and so that's our brain is there. It's just we got to get that shop done, then we have some flexibility to actually do some things that where um, it, it allows our members to have some fun and get something they want. And it's all, you know, about sustainability. You know, obviously getting yeah. a big check is nice. But then it, if you know you have that membership oh. base to rely on, that goes a long way. That's what way. I'm saying. Like, yeah. I mean, you, you know, when you – like, you reset every year. I want zero not to be zero, right? Right. Say, oh, well, but zero's – you know, zero's 400, right? right? If that's that's the number, then you're like, okay, now we're building off of that, right? And so that's, that's where the thought process is within the board of, okay, how do we do that, right? Um, and, and, like, the first thing, the first real one that we pulled uh, together was with Brett at Crush. And, um, and it also, was, it was a proof of concept, like we were talking about. But it was really, oh, wow, that works. Yeah. Okay, so we, we can do this again. It's going to take some work, and it's going to take some, some investment also from the business community. Uh, but the outreach has been pretty amazing. We've had multiple inbounds of, hey, I've got this idea from my business. Do you think we could do this with you? And so then it's just working through the, the – the process and uh, again it all goes back to, in many ways to recruiting because i just covered it daily the first question most guys in the portal ask is hey what yeah. what type of nil you know that's what they ask the coaches they do 
And obviously, you guys have to provide some we, sort we of do. Like, NIL so, and, presence. And the question, of, I'll go back to the yeah. question about basketball. So we're we're over we're we're over double. Um, obviously, we've had some players leave. That actually has also freed up money. If you go in the transfer portal, your contract is null. Is up, yeah. Yeah, that's up. So you're giving up anything on the back end that you may have uh, had a contract for. Um, but we, the conversations we've had with Coach Schwartz, we've talked about you know the the big number right of well, this is what we have so far we know we can invest what does he think we need you know we're there's we're, we're closing the gap but there's still there's still a little bit of a gap right um and i think uh, it's also interesting i think we're starting to get better data too right i mean like yeah it used to be hey you know such and such is getting paid this crazy number You're like is that real or is that not right and um, I, and I, look, I've seen some things on uh, people posting about what we've paid, and sometimes like, oh, that's not right. I'm not telling you it's not right, right. but that's not right. Um, and so, I, but I do think that the the market intelligence um, is getting there, where we're able to see some things and understand things a little bit better about what the price, what the value is uh, of the students. And then I think the other thing we're working on, uh, where we're really starting to think about, is how we get our student athletes to engage more right because part of this too is getting them to understand they have their own this is their this is their own business right their their, their name image and likeness is a business and they can think about it that way i look at the uh, the young lady uh at lsu the gymnast who's at three four million followers yeah. and viore has got her in commercials and things like that and you're like wow i mean that, but that young lady built a built her brand she built a brand and so Part of that is also stepping back and saying, okay, how do we, can we help in ways to, for our student athletes to think about it, right? And that's part of that's on the student athletes to own it, right? They have to own that part of, do I want to invest and do that? Do I want to be on social media? Do I want to find brands to partner with? Some we're going to say, I'd love to, and some are going to say, that's just not, I want to go to school, I want to practice, you know, and I, and I don't want to be out there. And so that's, that's the balance too. But I think those are the things we're also trying to think about and, and figure out. Um, how we can help our student athletes do that because there's no reason why they they can't also be attractive for businesses to use promotionally to invest in them that way he is matt slate from team boner let's get another break in we'll come back we'll continue to discuss uh, some more of the events available at the auction and hit on some more things nil related here on this wednesday edition of hoist the colors Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. 252-946-1227. about you, your family, and the health of all who live in Eastern North Carolina. This is about the transformation of a health system into something more powerful and more human, about creating new ways to treat disease and keep you well. This is about ECU Health, which is to say, it's really all about you. ECU Health, minds, hearts, purpose. Fifth Street Hardware is the home of the $9 lunch special Tuesday through Fridays. $9 specials every day, including the famous Burger Day on Tuesdays, Flatbread Pizza Wednesday, the famous Fifth Street Hardware Reuben on Thursday, and Fried Fish or Shrimp on Friday. Plus, trivia on Wednesday nights and live music every Thursday nights. 
And the Prime Rib Brunch Buffet has returned on Sundays. You heard that right. The Brunch Buffet with all the great items, including Prime Rib, Fifth Street Hardware, and downtown Greenville. Your confidence makes everything look good. You see the world in vivid color, not black and white. Swing through your neighborhood fantastic Sam's Cut in Color. And let our experienced stylists take you from everyday to extraordinary. Fantastic Sam's hair salons are locally owned and operated. Our full-service salons are conveniently located in Goldsboro, Kinston, Greenville, Newburn, Jacksonville, and Calabash. Stop in today at Fantastic Sam's, where the possibilities are endless. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. 252946 the colors with Steven I go. How good is this? On 943 the game. All right, welcome back in. Hoist the colors has been an awesome show. Matt Slate is with us a uh, board member of Team Boneyard. And uh, so Hank Hinton, who also works with us from Team Boneyard, um, or works with you guys. I'm not part of Team Boneyard. <laughs> I just I help spread the message. Um, he says the team Boneyard Sup Crush Vodka did better in March than in February. Uh, we were getting an even bigger check for March split between football and hoops. So look at that. So again, Team Boneyard Vodka. We, yeah. we we've had a lot of discussion about sustainability, and that's it is. It looks like it, a big hit. It is, and it's. Uh, I mean, it's spread. Uh, it's all. You know, I, I keep watching the Twitter feeds. Oh, it's in Davidson County. It's in you know Green right. County, and, and I mean, if it's in Dare County this summer. Uh, there's a lot of pirates that will drink the uh, the purple and gold vodka. I mean, it's going to be consumed. You might as well consume that. That's where I think a lot of people are doing it. Right. That's yeah. awesome to hear. Uh, I, I didn't know that. I knew that it was doing well. I got a, yeah. I got a thumbs up from uh, Brett last time I asked him, but I didn't get the that. That's really good. I mean, yeah. especially obviously, you know, you debut it in in February. You would think usually when something debuts, it, it yeah. peaks, but right. for it to keep going up, that's big. That's that's huge. Um, and, and again, that's, that's what I would say is, you know, we, we got to support those businesses as well. Right. No I mean, doubt. That, that's the that's I mean, the that's the piece of it. If they see, look, there's this constant support coming. I mean, you know it, what 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 made me so happy? They put it in Chapel Hill. It's yeah. in the Chapel Hill ABC store. And then uh, somebody sent me a picture of uh, two students from Chapel Hill. So happy that they, they, had, they had Team Boneyard back <laughs> in their hands. That's awesome. And I was like, yeah, that's that that really made my day. Team Boneyard <laughs> invading Tar Heel country. You got to love it. Yeah, it's, it's a cool bottle. I just keep it, really is, keep, it really is. Keep drinking it, right? <laughs> if I mean, you're right. If you're going to consume it, it might right. as well be the ECU version, the I, Team 100%. Boneyard version. Yeah. Uh, Sunshine Steve on Hoist the Color said he just joined 23 Club Roll Pirates. So, awesome. Uh, That's awesome uh, to have that support. Absolutely. I appreciate You know, I can't thank uh, anyone every single uh donor enough uh or, or i like to call them supporters right uh, but uh i the the support uh and look this is a, this is kind of a groundswell thing right i mean you look backwards uh think about clemson and the update and the update yeah that they, they created right but this is a this is a moment where the, we really can as a fan base uh, move the needle on the impact of the type of player we're able to recruit and retain and have on the field which look this feeds the bigger ecosystem that is East Carolina University, right? It drives applications. It drives people. It drives our student population. We can get you know, that's a whole other show. We yeah. get to the issues around student population shrinking. Um, but, but athletics is a huge part of that. It's a huge piece of it, right? That is, I mean, you know, that is a, if, if you know, if, if you were just a marketing company, not thinking about the school, you're like, oh, that's just, that's a piece of your marketing budget. That's a piece of your marketing. Um, so what does that look like? Um, you know, on a very high level. And that's exactly um, part of where every single one of us as a fan can do that. So now I was going to say something that was really cool yeah. about the hats. So Parker Bird hats. But we sold four of those. And I see the, I see the uh, email ID. And they four of them had student. E- oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Right. When you're and getting was, the students to buy those hats. And they, that, you know. That's a lot, you know, 25 bucks for a student ain't cheap. So, no, yeah. no, no, no. But that, I mean, I, shows. we got four of those. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. Um, and, and, you know, and to, to bring them into the fold of, hey, I'll support an NIL effort. They're supporting a fellow teammate uh, or, or student, you know, uh, that, that is uh, super, super cool. 
Uh, we'll get we'll hit on a few more uh, experiences here with the auction. Again, the auction, uh, the bidding closes April 13th, 2024 at 8. So that's Every, only 10 days from now. It is. Everything but the field goals. Field goals close go. on Wednesday. And somebody's going to kick a field goal. Otherwise, yeah. Igo is going to have to kick three. Yeah, that's you know going to be mean? tough. Right. I, I might can get one off, but I don't know <laughs> if I can get three off. Um, so definitely go to teamboneyard.org. Again, you can click the link, bid on all these awesome – uh, you know, items and also experiences. You'll have also like autographed footballs, basketballs, all yep. that sort of stuff. Yep. So absolutely, um, lunch and Q and A with AD John Gilbert. Yeah, like if you want to ask, I mean, look, I, there's we have some passionate fans, right? Yeah, and I mean, this is not the cheapest experience in the world, but if you want to sit down with one on one and 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 talk about the weather or talk about ECU sports or whatever's in between. Um, here's your chance to have lunch uh, with, with with John, um, and I mean, he, and 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 hash it out however you'd like. I get enough questions to ask John about conference realignment and scheduling. I promise you, <laughs> if you bid and, and win this bid, he will answer them all, and he'll give you a, a really truthful answer. He will. So. No, I, uh, he's uh, yeah, I, exactly uh, that, those those answers. And sometimes we don't want to hear the answers. Right. And sometimes we do. Right. I mean, look, there's a lot of there's. There are a lot of positive things uh, about um, ECU. I learned this the other day just talking to our um, um, Clay at Playfly, but yeah. about the volleyball streaming viewership, and we're like one of the top streaming view- viewerships of volleyball in our conference. Wow! Right? Like, okay, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> But you know, but it, it shows it, the support it, for a winning team too. It does. You know? It shows passion, and it shows exactly what you said. There's that support. So, um, all right. So football pregame yeah. experiences. We'll hit on this too. Obviously, football season coming up. Um, walk us through what the experience here. I see yeah. a bunch of you know pregame sidelines. So houses. for each game, there are five uh, auction items, and it includes two uh, pregame passes that you get you down on the field. So you want to you want to see the, the team warm up. Uh, it gets you down there for the warm ups. It gets you down there for the band. Um, it gets you you know PD coming out, uh, and then you, you've got the intro. Uh, so the opportunity to really you know if you haven't been down there, like literally the purple haze smells. Yeah, you can you can truly smell it, and <laughs> it you know you it. might you know you might feel a little different a quarter in, but hey, it, it's 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 an experience, man. It really it, is. oh, it is. And I mean, like when 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 they when they drop the um, I don't know what the can is, but when they even when they drop it oh, under yeah. it, boom, right? I mean, and you're down there when the cannon goes off when you're down there, it's a whole different level of loud. You feel it in your heart. You, you do. Chest. Ask you should ask, you can ask. Uh, there, there, there's a there's a newscaster at one point. You can Google that yep. that, that <laughs> add a reaction to that. Oh, Brian Bailey. Yes. Um, but you can. Uh, it, it's to be down there and, and and experience that entire experience before the game. So, uh, and we have them for all six home games. Uh, there, there are five different uh, opportunities. Each one includes two field passes um, that'll get you down pregame basically down down there through kickoff and then you can get back to your go back to your seats and enjoy the game it does require a ticket into the stadium i do want to point that out um I, it was one so of those you need things. A ticket. you do right I, so i don't want someone to buy that I me mean, well i've got the pregame pass right. well, you still got to get in the stadium <laughs> you have to be able to so that's the uh I, that was the you, when that's i say fair, i worked fair to note yeah yeah but when i say i worked with ECU athletics i got the disclaimers and they were like you, you have to make have sure they know that they have to get i was like i got it I was like, otherwise you're just gonna get to the gate and the person's like this doesn't get you in all right let's say what uh i'll ask you this real quick that we yeah. got our final break in newton smith says how about auction a new 23 baseball clap cap the player version of adidas so i don't know what are the rules as far as like team team merchandise or team you know items is that something y'all can dabble in or it's it? so there's this fine line and we've got to figure that out yeah. right um so this watermark and this watermark are two different things right right and so we have um we have to figure out how far you can go with that there's also some uh issues within um and i don't i'm not going to pretend to be an expert but the the licensing yeah. of that um, now that doesn't mean that I couldn't. We couldn't get a purple, fl- you know, plain Adidas cap. Yeah, and embroider the team boneyard on there. Um, the the tougher part is getting the using the the full pirate like an ECU official logo. You, yeah, yeah, that's that's the that's the challenge, right? right. 
of uh, uh, just walking the fine lines. But that's a great question, and you know what? I'll, I'll I will ask. Uh, how, what are the possibilities, right? right? I think it's just the realm of where, how far can we go. I think there's everyone over there wants to uh, wants to go as far as possible. Um, so I, I think we'll, we'll, I'll ask a question. Thank you for the question. Absolutely. All right, let's get our final break in. We'll come back. We'll wrap things up. Hit on the final, uh, you know, pieces you really need to know about the spring auction on the other side this is hoist the colors on a wednesday air service is back at pitt greenville airport offering safe clean facilities and flights from american airlines that means the short commute quicker lines and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy see it for yourself there's great things inside at pitt greenville airport Storm season is approaching. North Carolina weather can damage your roof, and before long, a small leak can turn into a big problem. Your home is one of your biggest investments, so protect it with Wells Home Improvements. We work with all insurance companies for a hassle-free roof installation experience. Call us today and get 10% off your roof installation when you mention this commercial. 252-227-8403 or visit us online at wellshomeimprovements.com. Wells Home Improvements, local, honest, dependable. Interbanks Media and 107.9 WNCT presents Concert on the Common. One, two, three, say, I love beach music. It's Every back April 25th day. with the oh, Embers. Don't miss Concert on the Common with the Embers. Concert on the Common, thanks to Interbanks Media, the City of Greenville, and the Junior League of Greenville. We'll see you at the show. Big tax credits are back. Get a 30% tax credit, up to $2,000 off your new Mitsubishi electric heat pump install. Let Comfort Master help you take advantage of the tax credits with a qualifying Mitsubishi electric ducted heat pump or non-ducted Mitsubishi electric mini splits. Mitsubishi electric mini splits are ideal for bonus rooms, garages, or sunrooms. If you need a new HVAC unit, call Comfort Master today. Call Comfort Master. Call Comfort Master. Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. The Pirates play here. Arr! This is Hoist the Colors Radio with Stephen Iko. Yeah! Yes! That was so good! 194.3, the game. All right, welcome back in. Ho- Hoist the Colors, Matt Slate from Team Bonard with us. So, you guys just sold a hat, correct? Uh, Parker Bird just went. We were, I was, I was like, oh, let's check while we're we're doing there this. So, uh, 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 I, I won't use the last name, but Charles, thank you very much. You just bought a hat. So we were talking to the uh, the twenty three club hat, and we talked about Parker Bird, but the twenty three club hat. There's only a few left. Yeah, these are there's, these are these are for auction. Uh, there's 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 four of them. Um, I, I, so there was two yesterday. I begged to get two more because of the response. So there's four. I don't think we're going to get any more. Uh, but it's 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 a it's not the. Um, I've learned through the, the shop process. There's this thing called a dad hat, which is what fits my head, and I don't usually wear the right. the, the trucker hats because when you're follically challenged, they, <laughs> they just don't work as well. Uh, but um, we've got uh, it's a flat brim, uh, you know, higher higher. Um, arcing hat uh and there's four of them um on there that are very very limited edition um and so we just added two more uh, on there because of the response we got yesterday and i don't believe we're going to be able to 
pry anymore out of the the uh, person that has these hats. But uh, so now there's four. But uh, uh, you know, it's a pretty credible response. What it does tell you is that um, t- when you talked about tangible tangibility of yeah. of, of items, uh, that our our fan base you know, making the comment about the, the cup fan base cares about uh would like to have some of that gear and wants to identify with the brand right and that's just that's the thing right we, that that we have to realize as a as a group of on team boneyard side of hey well, let's market this brand it is a real brand and it's growing so again the bidding reflects reflects that too that i mean yeah. people really want these hats so definitely get on them while they're here the 23 yeah. club hats available uh team boneyard au- auction and again this auction only runs through April 13, 2024. So all the great events we've talked at, talked about opportunities, 10 more days to, to hop in a bid. So yeah. uh, definitely get on it and can't stress it enough. If you haven't, you know, donated uh, monthly, if you can do that, even if it's $10 a month, it all, it all leads oh, back it, to the same thing. It does. Right. Uh, it's a hundred percent. I agree with that's, that's the piece that I, I can't, you know, I want to thank um, everyone from the supporters uh, and, and I mentioned athletics as well, but uh, it's just been an incredible investment right and this is this is part of uh getting to the point of accepting this is part of the financing of what it takes to run a successful athletic program and east carolina has uh you know there's so much of it that is that is absolutely right on and we, we this is the piece where we as a fan base can invest uh, big and small and it makes a huge difference um, and, our, and, it, and our student athletes are, are feeling it and we're trying to also make sure we didn't talk about the PPS and we talked about it last time I was here yeah. but we're, we're also making sure that when they are when we are getting them out for appearances they're, they're doing things like they're in, in, integrating right into our uh, schools here in Pitt County where they get to be leaders where they're learning uh, that leadership and stuff like that well Matt this has been awesome man we're up against it as far yep. as time we could go two hours but <laughs> appreciate your support thank and you. uh thank you to team boneyard again support them team boneyard.org all right we'll be back tomorrow at 12 noon with Bobby Harward I uh, promise we'll talk more East UNC State then until then this has been hoist the colors this has been Hoist the Colors with your host, Stephen Igo. Tune in weekdays at noon for all things ECU sports. Get a recap of the show at 943thegame.com, on Twitter, Facebook, or anywhere you get your podcasts. We're back tomorrow with more of Hoist the Colors on 943 The Game.